Lee, you've literally just come off the training pitch. How pleased are you at finally being back at Lennox Town and being on the home straight at being back playing football? Yeah, it's been a, a tough few months, you know, training myself, top of sessions, doing enough every day. Um, but, you know, like you just said, I'm on the home straight now and not long to go before pre-season. Yeah, is that the plan then, to be back and, and ready and at the same stage as the other guys by the time the pre-season training camp starts? Yeah, I'm hoping to come back a lot further than what I have done in, in previous um, start of the campaign. So. You know, being in here near enough every day gives me that, that plat platform to get fitter. And you know, when we come back on the 17th, you know, I'll be ready to go. Yeah, since you've been out in the last few months, have you have you watched the boys in the games or is it is it has it been too frustrating for you? Are you not a good a good viewer of football? I've watched i watched most of them. Um if I can if I can attend the games and I'll be watching it on TV or Celtic TV. Um and you know, I've delighted for every single one of them because I know how I know firsthand how much hard work goes into the training ground, and you know sometimes the performance doesn't show. But you know, in the end of the season, we've ended up with another three trophies, which is magnificent. Yeah, did you get the time though to be able to switch off from it as well, which I presume you needed to do? I did, yeah. Um, but you know, football's my life, and it has been for the, the past number of, number of years. Um, so it was for sitting being off. Um, but you know, my big focus was to come back mentally and uh, physically stronger. And like you just said, I'm on the home straight now, so it's not long to go. You know about the expectation at, at playing with for Celtic, and, and of course you were there for the first treble, the second one, the first half of this one. W what did you make of the way that the, that the boys handled that expectation and win the treble treble? The boys handled it, you know, ex as exactly as how I expected. Um, you know, big games, we put in big performances and we get the result that matters. Um, you know, the only one disappointing result was the the game at Ibrox, but you know we, we can't take away from the fact that we went on and, and done another clean sweep. There's been a change of manager since you last played, but it's the man that brought you to the club just over five years ago. Um, what have you made of the job that, that Neil's done? Yeah, he's come in and he's done exactly what you know was expected of him. Um, nobody expected anything less, to be honest. Um, it was a sudden departure with Brendan leaving, but you know, given Neil's stats at the club and what he's done before, there was no. No hesitation about giving them, giving them the, the platform to, to make us, you know, treble champions again. You've uh, you got a few months under Neil the last time, but how much are you looking forward to, to working under him again? Yeah, I'm buzzing. I'm just buzzing to get back to pre-season and, and get back in amongst the boys and, and start playing my football again. You know, something that I really enjoyed and, you know, for the last four or five months it's not been enjoyable. Um, running as much as, as what I should have been doing, but, you know, like I say, no luck going out till pre-season and I can't wait to get back in amongst the boys. Yeah, what can the fans expect from you? Is it, is it all about just getting the ball in the back of the net? Because that's what you're all about. Yeah, I want to add to that goal tally that I've, I've got so far. Um, but, you know, I need to come back physically and mentally stronger, which, you know, I'm doing day in, doing day, in day out, um, especially with the, the sports science team here and my, my programme I've got given. So, you know, come the 17th, I'll be ready to go. You talk about being mentally stronger. Neil himself has spoken in the past about his own mental health issues. Is he perhaps the right man to get the best out of you? Yeah, well, you know, like you say, he's, he's been through the ringer before. Um, you know, if I need any advice or I need somebody to go and talk to, he'll be the man for sure. But, you know, I'm, I'm coping with it. You know, I've, I've done a lot of sacrifices to, to get where I am now and to get back in a better place. So, you know, let's see, hopefully it's the way forward and I can keep moving. Yeah, so the hunger is still there as strong as ever? Oh, it's, it's probably more so now. Um, you know, from, from where I've been in December to, to now, it's, it's night and day. So, like I say, hopefully when I, I pull that jersey back on and step on the pitch, you know, I'll be, I'll be firing all cylinders.